teachers, staff, and students need to shelter in place for hazmat at this time. In Goose Creek, there are a lot of trains, and we thought this would be a great exercise to evaluate their processes and their procedures when it came to train derailments. And we've been advised what the derailment is or what the containment is. We've been planning for seven months now, and so we've been meeting as a planning team to come up with the most realistic and possible scenario that would give every, every element of the phase. Any children in here? Today was a train derailment, so that activated a shelter in place for hazmat in the school and then in turn a relocation of that campus to another school and then a reunification of students and parents. So between the Baytown Fire Department, Baytown OEM, Office of Emergency Management, Goose Creek, HCDE, we came up with a scenario together. And then from there, we started to determine what were critical tasks that had to be done. And then from there, we start of uh, what are things that could happen. And all units on scene in Carver, be advised Baytown Fire, so the air quality is good enough to begin evacuation. So we do these trainings because you can never quite fully prepare for any emergency. So muscle memory is important. So the more you prepare, the more you train, the better your outcomes are when in the event that there is an actual emergency. You know, we say in, in different ICS trainings that you know you don't want to meet different county officials and different agencies at two in the morning when an incident happens, right? You want to have that relationship established with them ahead of time. So this is a great way to do that. Overall, very pleased because there were a lot of lessons, a lot of lessons learned. A lot of things that people just thought were gonna happen automatically just didn't happen. And then everybody's like, oh, that didn't happen automatically. So what do we need to do there? But uh, I, I think it went well.